out to sow some seeds. <laughs> he likens the kingdom to men sowing some seeds because the kingdom of God is all about sowing. Jesus is a seed that was sown by God the Father. So here we have some men who are going out to sow some seeds and uh, in the midst of sowing after they had sown the good seed, the Bible says uh, that they slept. Some will say they slept. I can't hear you say they slept. And uh, when they slept, the enemy came because God has to define the principle of good and bad. Praise the name of God. Sometimes God can make the man to sleep. So when they slept, the Bible says the enemy came and planted the weeds. So we have the wheat and we have the weeds. And uh, when the men wake up in the morning, the Bible says they went out to irrigate the seeds. Uh, they went out to irrigate the seeds and in the process of irrigating the seeds, uh, they noticed uh, the weeds. Praise the name of God. When they noticed the weeds, I want you to follow me. It's kind of storytelling teaching. So they went back to the master and they say to the master, Hey master, we thought we planted good seeds. This teaching is going to help someone who is ready for the revival in this place. It's going to help someone who is ready for Jesus for the season we are in. So they went to the master and and they asked the master, what are we going to do? Someone say, what are we going to do? They needed an answer from the master. Now watch this. They didn't just start pulling out the weeds. They went back to the master and they needed a direction from the master. What the master was going to tell them. Now listen to me. The master told them to leave the weeds alone. Someone say leave the weeds alone. Leave the weeds alone. Leave the weeds alone. Now watch this. This is so important. Isn't it funny how the devil will wait until the planting of the seed is when the enemy had to come and plant the weeds. The enemy did not show up before the seeds were planted. The enemy is showing up after the seeds are planted to sow the weeds. I want you to listen to me ladies and gentlemen because there are people in this place the problem you are fighting in your life is something that was planted before so the battle is under the ground praise the name of God the seeds have the roots and the weeds have the roots and under the ground there are some interlocking of the roots praise the name of God so the wisdom of the master I want you to follow me is if the weeds are pulled out the wheat will be will be will be messed up because the roots of the weeds and the roots of the wheat are interlocking under the ground there are people in this place uh, the fight you are fighting uh, is something that was planted there before even you came into the realization of who you are <laughs> you have to talk to me now someone say when you pull out the weeds <laughs> you will interfere with the wheat because uh, there is the interlocking of uh, the roots <laughs> so when you pull the wheat <laughs> The, the weed the weed will be interfered with because the roots are interlocking so listen to me some of you the fight you are in you are not even fighting the family curses no it's a system it is something that was there in the beginning when you were planted as a seed the enemy had to wait until 
until you were planted so that he can come and interfere with you. What are you talking about, man of God? Now listen to me. We don't see the serpent in the garden. In the book of Genesis, we don't see the serpent in the garden during the creation. Mm -mm. We don't see the serpent when God said, let there be the firmament. We don't see the serpent when God was separating the waters under and the waters above. We don't see the serpent. But we only see the serpent after God had done the creation. I, 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 the cre when after God had created the man is when we see the serpent. Someone say the serpent. So the work of the serpent is to bring the interference. Someone say the interference. So some of you in this place, you have after this sermon, you have to stop fighting people around you. There is a reason as to why God will plant all manner of people around you. The moment you keep on fighting such people, you interfere with your roots on the ground because you are fighting a system. You are not not fighting the family curses it's a system inside you now listen to me even at the release of the gift inside your life the enemy had to plant something else Praise the name of God. I want to talk to people in this place. There is a certain character in your life. There are things you are fighting with in your life. Even after you have ministered, even after you have prayed for people, even after you have you have encouraged people, there is something you are fighting in your life. Now listen to me. Can I just say this? There as much as there is a seed in your life, there are weeds in your life and some weeds there is nothing you can do about them you have to leave them alone somebody say the master said leave them alone praise the name of someone say leave them alone what are you talking about man of God don't let the character in your life don't let a certain thing you are fighting in your life interfere with the seed gift that God has put in your life you have to let them grow together now listen to this there is a difference between corruption and destruction corruption is not destruction and destruction is not corruption now listen to me the weeds are there to corrupt you someone say to corrupt you not to destroy you the weeds are there to mock you the weeds are there to short change your thinking the weeds are there to delay your time the weeds are there now listen to me this morning I want to encourage someone who is dealing with the weeds in your life it's a high time you have to ignore the weeds and focus on the seed because God said to this the, 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 the master said to the man you have to leave the weeds alone are we together are we together this message is to help someone in this place every time you want to go higher every time you want to be you, you, you are working on your establishment every time you are working on your maturity there is something that always showcases itself after you have made up your mind on what you are supposed to do praise the name of God someone say it's a system in the ground it's a system underground because the roots of the wheat and the roots of the weeds are interlocking under the ground so there is nothing you can do you have to leave it alone leave it alone uh, leave it alone praise the name of God I know some of you you want to act perfect someone say perfect especially when we pinpoint the weaknesses in other people 
we say I can't get along with such I can't associate with such I can't live with such but the master said you have to leave the weeds alone can I say this there is no perfect church there is no perfect saints the brother and the sister you are seated next to they are coming from a system <coughs> someone say a system there is a system for every family as much as you fight to change your sisters they will never change because the fight is underground it's a system it's a system and that's why Jesus has to use the agriculture the word agriculture is divided into two agri means work culture means uh, 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 fixing it no matter what trying to deal with the system praise and someone say trying to deal with the system now watch this there are things when you focus on them so much you will never become anything I will repeat it again. I will repeat it again. The reason as to why we cannot have a fellowship is because we focus so much on the weeds that exists in the life of that sister. 